hoping change is gonna find me You don't have to remind me I'm doing nothing at all So look at this fantastic MZ from days of old on and everything. The 250 Trophy MZ East German bike and I think that is a little treasure. That is magnificent. So this is where I'm going to sleep tonight. This is the Butter Tubs Pass above Halls and it is a wonderful, wonderful viewpoint. Well, it's a windy morning, and here's um, a view from inside the car. This is how much space I've got, and loads of space. Got my cargo net at the top, just putting all my stuff in. Got my lights. Right, we're going to get up. It's half nine. We stopped in bed, sun's starting to come up. Bright, isn't it? What a good night we've had here. Okay, we're on the move again. We're out, going back down to Hawes, and then we're going to plan a new route, see where we get to. Okay, what have we got in this vlog? Well, we're going to head out to Kirby Stephen. We're going to do a bit of car camping, and then we are going to fly the drone um, and enjoy the sunshine. Little did I know whilst I was driving that I had a chassis problem with this vehicle. And maybe just as well as it might have just stressed me out. And we're trying to find another spot just to stay. There's a bit of a quarry up there where we might get away with. Um, a bit of a, a a sneaky a sneaky one looks like there's a few spots here anyway let's scope a little bit out and just see oh look at that look at this one here there's one here mate there's one here I've just found the perfect spot well this is where my bed is tonight I have to say you know, we've spent the day just chilling out, resting, reading books, listening to music, having a bit of food. Okay, everyone, we're up near Kirby Stephen, and the idea is just going to cook some quick tea. I'm not into really big meals, I like to snack, so tonight we're just going to have some um, naked chicken cas. Casoba noodles with a few extra soft noodles thrown in. Um, something very simple um, that'll just get me by. And so it's simple as you boil the water, you put it in the pot, you put the noodles in the pot, boil it for a bit longer, Bob's your uncle tea time. It's an absolute blinder of a valley. I refer to the term we in my vlogs because I've lost my dogs and they're still a great memory, they're on my heart and they're still with me so we're going for we. <laughs> Although not the best spectacular sunset because it's going behind the hill still um an amazing place, a lovely valley with some wonderful views. 
It's better than being at home. And I've had the peace to read my book. Contemplate on life, spirituality. Um, and like we said right at the beginning, it's about leaving the stress behind. I've been doing that. I have been looking for moments of no stress, just be able to forget everything that goes on in your daily life and you are rewarded with, just listen to the sounds. You're rewarded with the birds and the sheep and the sun. And I can't wish for a better ending to a day. Thanks for coming along on my journey. This has been my three day tour. My three day tour of the Yorkshire Dales. Okay everyone, so this is what the full bed setup looks like in the Nissan Qashqai. So you can sleep too, but I put a table at that side and then I put some electrical equipment at that side. My pillow and I put obviously put proper sheets on, but I use um, a quilted bag that I just use as a quilt um, and then I've got a cargo net at the top blacked out windows all the way around and I have some getting some really good night's sleep in here it's really really cozy so here's a few things in my box I've got some chocks, I've got a, um, a lead, a 240 volt lead, a bag of clothes, a tent, a gas bottle, um, a tyre inflator, some junk leads, a little water bottle at the back that carries five, six litres, and then I've got a table and a chair. Um, Oh, and a pop-up tent and a toilet. Yep, yeah, I carry a toilet with me too when I go car camping. Look at that, people. Sun going down. Going to be cool in a minute. And then this is the full extent of the car. In probably one of the best settings that I've ever done a wow camp. I mean, what's not to like? Right angle for sleeping, beautiful um, scenery, front, I've flown my drone, I've had my tea, I've watched the sun go down, and it's soon gonna pop behind that hill and it's gonna get cold. So I'm gonna do some video editing, and we're gonna be trying to chill out for the night so it's about half eight now so the time I've done editing it'll be ten go to sleep get up at seven have breakfast go into Kirby Stephen for eight well I've had an absolute awesome time so I just had to lie here this morning looking at that sunrise led in my bed, listening to the sheep. It was absolutely fantastic. A memory to savour for, for so many years to come. Um, just the sun on your face, the calmness and the beauty of being outside in the wild. Three little chuckies in there. A cup of black coffee. 
some baked beans and sausages. That's the breakfast. There's the current bun. Oh yeah, life doesn't get better than this. We've got farmer out in his field running round with sheep. Look at farmer down there. He's doing amazing. Well, we're up at Friday morning. It's uh, 10 o'clock and we're up at Kirby Stephen and it's very busy, a lot of traffic coming through but the problem is everything seems to be closed. The co-op's gone and um, a few coffee shops are open but most mostly it's all looks a bit abandoned but anyway news agents were open so we got a brew there. really interesting this little old bike it's a 250 trophy MZ East German bike and I think that is a little treasure that is magnificent On and everything. Well, we seem to be trapped on all the little back roads. This is like uh, like nothing I've seen. Little hamlets and little tiny churches and bridges and water and it's quite pretty. It's part of the Lake District that I've never been down. So we'll continue till we get to Wars Water. Well, it's been an absolutely sublime little drive down here to Holeswater. I never thought it was going to be this big and so vast, but so beautiful as well. It's taken my breath away because I think these walks and peaks and forests and things that I never dreamed of. I just thought it was going to be bleak moorland and yeah it's the lakes but wow I mean this equals anything that I've seen in the Lake District. It really does. I don't know what it's like when it's busy but when it's not busy like this on a Friday it is absolutely great. Well, it's been a fantastic three days of wild camping in the car. I've come up to Hawes Water on the final day and it is absolutely stunning. Um, it's a little known water that's not far from Sharp, the highest place, the highest bit of motorway on the M6. And it's a beautiful place. The water is absolutely vast. It looks enormous. Doesn't look that big on the map. It, it, it just settled my spirit to zero. If you like it and you want to come by, feel free to. We're doing wild camping, we're doing motorcycling and we're doing car camping. <clears throat> Those are the three things that I'm doing. I've done some motorcycling this year, I've done some car camping, so I really need to try to get on and do another wild camp in the Helm too. Right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Take care. Bye for now.